What's poppin' guys, it's Zach, and today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. As you see, the camera angle is a little different. That's because I'm gonna be trying a video on my phone, seeing how it works. But today I'm gonna sh be showing off my Dansko collection, which is in these books, of my Lincoln Sense. So this is, I guess, sort of say, a part of my coin collection, the first part. So let's get into it. So here we got the Indian Head Sense. And then we got the Lincoln sense. We're gonna be looking at both of these. Okay, to start off with Indian, it actually has flying eagle ones in it. As you can see, this one is quite a beauty. I have the 1857 and then the 1858 small letters. I don't, the 1856 isn't on there because it's actually really rare, but that thing does exist. And then I got an 1859. And that's it for this page. I try to get uncirculated ones if I can. 1864, right here. Like that one, it's pretty good. And then I got, this one's kind of hard to see, it's a very bad condition, but this is uh, 1879. I also have the 1877 that's graded. So check out my other video, link's gonna be in the description about that. 1881. 1882, you could hardly see that. 1884, now this looks like a good coin. So let's look at the backs. These are from the Flying Eagle Sense. Those two. Okay. And then, I won't show all the backs, but this is the back of uh, this 1884. I also have 1908 S's too that are graded that I did a video on of already. That, although I do have one in here too. 1891, 1893, what a Nineteen hundred. Okay, As you see most of the ones over here are uncirculated. I used to just put the uncirculated ones in, but if I have them, you know, I might as well just put them in. And then I have a couple, just regular Lincoln cents, because nineteen oh nine and the nineteen oh nine VDB. Here's the key date, one of the key dates. 1908s. The only key date I really don't have is the 1909s. I do have the 1877. And here are just the brief mintages, if you could see that. The 1877 over here only has 852,000, which is, that's nothing. But yeah, so this is my Lincoln, Link, uh, Indian Head Sands collection. Now we're gonna get going on my Lincoln. This includes proof-only issues, as you can see. I have all of them except for the SVDB, guys. Don't have that. Want to get it someday, but don't have it right now. 1909 VDB, SVDB, 1909. Here's a key date, 1909S. Also, let me know down in the comment section what you think of doing these coin videos with my phone. I mean, you can't see my face, but... Let me know if you like it better, if it's easier to see the coins and all that. So, let's show this 1912. Really like that. This is another key date, 14D. This 1916 is a beauty. Same with the 17. But yeah, these can be quite pricey. So I've been working on this for a decade now, since I was 10, so here's the backs. As you see, even from the, the early dates, I have quite a bit of nice and circulated stuff. So that's good. I also have the 20, I don't have the 22 no D, but that's an error coin. I actually used to have this one, but I sold it 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I think this 28 is maybe a extra fine or something. 29. 30, 30D, 30S, 31S is right there. As you see, the 31S is also a key date. Yeah, 866,000, so that one's also a key date. I believe the 24D, I think, is also pretty, pretty decent. But as you will see, after 1932, they really are all uncirculated. If not, maybe very high AU. I love this one, this 39. This is a beautiful coin. So I'll just breeze through these. But as you can see, these are all uncirculated. These are the steel cents from 1942 because during World War II, they needed copper for ammunition so they needed to save the copper they didn't have enough copper for coinage so they actually used steel for a year in 1958 is the end of wheat pennies now we just get to regular as we know it pennies although these are mainly copper after 1982 they actually had zinc in them and they were mainly zinc now so these are s's these are when you start the proof coins. As you see, they're not meant for circulation. They're struck multiple times. They're, they have a frosty finish to it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, now let's get going. This book doesn't go all the way to 2020, though. It stopped, I think, in 2012 or something. So that's actually when I stopped like collecting these because the newer ones are but yeah i love these proof ones very cool but this did this took me a long time to complete and i guess i'm not even done i still need the 1909 svdb and i can get the 22 no d back but that's going to take a while so let's look at one of the proof backings as you could see, it is, this is a regular circulation. This is a proof. You could tell they're not the same, but we got all this. You can see the luster on all of them. And yeah, 2016 S is when I stopped. But that is my coin collection the ones in my dance go albums and these are the pennies and as always catch you on the upside